What's up my Sin City crew? I'm back again with another video for you guys. Today I am cooking me some spaghetti with the fettuccine noodles. The fettuccine noodles y'all, the reason why I'm doing that is because I forgot to get the packs of spaghetti when I went to the grocery store. So I'm doing it with the fettuccine noodles and I hope that it comes out good. And I'm doing some catfish fillets. I have my catfish fillets and I have my, my meal already seasoned and everything. So I already have everything going. So hopefully you can see the ending product of my food because a lot of people be complaining about that and I truly understand that y'all want to see the, the end product, you know, the finished product. Anyway, so anyway, uh, I hope everybody doing good today. I have a shout out, you guys, to Karen Manny. Shout out to Karen Manny. Karen, now you see this is the real Sin City. I know you inboxed me and you were like, you know, they were saying it was a fake account. I didn't know if this was you, this was your real Facebook account or what. It's me, Karen. So, shout out to you. So, anyway, you guys, I wanted to get that out the way. <clears throat> because I promised her that I was going to shout her out. And I appreciate her support. She always talks to me. Uh, as a matter of fact, she's one of my Facebook friends as well. And, uh... I have already did my seasoning and everything for my ground beef. The only thing I didn't put in it is was, was the accent. Because I read up on it, my son sent me an article in on Facebook, inboxed me on Facebook, and, was, and I was reading up on it. It calls, it's a silent killer, y'all. This accent is not good. And I've been using it for over, whoo, 30 years. So it causes memory loss. No wonder I can't hardly remember nothing, but I say it was COVID. <laughs> I say it was COVID too, I, cause I think I had COVID in November of last year. I didn't have the symptoms as far as lost my smell, my taste, or nothing like that. But I, you know, I was sick. I was coughing. I couldn't stop coughing. I was drinking a lot of tea, the herb tea. I was drinking a lot of that herb tea and doing a lot of that ginger. Uh, so I felt a lot better, you know what I'm saying? So that helps out a lot, y'all. And you know, so once it came, I'm like, that's what it was. And then, you know, it caused a lot of stuff too. They said, uh, having COVID caused memory loss and stuff like that. You lose a lot of, I lost my hearing. I, for some reason, my right ear, I couldn't hardly hear out my right ear for a long time. And my doctor put me on some meds because they were saying it was an upper respiratory infection was affecting my, ear, my hearing and my ear. My ear canal. <clears throat> but I don't think it was that. I don't even think it was an upper respiratory infection. I think I had COVID. That's not what I think. That's before COVID ever was ever heard about, you know, November of last year. But thank God I'm okay, y'all. You know, I'm still here. You know, I'm not going to claim it, but that's, how I feel. that's what I think it was anyway. You know. But yeah, so I got my fish going. I got my ground beef on. I got my noodles over here, which I'm finna drain my noodles. They are fettuccine noodles, y'all. Have y'all ever did spaghetti with fettuccine noodles? <laughs> I hope it turned out good. I ain't never did it. Uh, went to the grocery store for that. To get my dog on uh, a pack of spaghetti. I'm like, mine. And I love fish and spaghetti. Y'all already know that. Y'all know I love my fish and spaghetti. I just did a video the other day with fixing some, some spaghetti. But. Y'all didn't get a chance to see the finished product, so I just want y'all to get a chance to see the finished product this time, you know. Yep. Happy Tuesday to everybody. I hope everybody doing good. It's a pretty Tuesday out there. It's pretty out here today. I don't think it's that cold. I haven't been out, but it looks like it's a pretty day. Beautiful day, blessed day. You know, I won't complain about it. So, hopefully, everybody do want to do it, stay in shape. What's wrong there? You good? You know, uh uh, not yet. Not yet. I'm doing a video though. I can't what you want? Yes, I got my noodles, y'all. Got my fish going.
So like I said, hopefully y'all get a chance to see the finished product. I'm gonna make sure y'all do this time. Cause I know y'all be wanna to see it. And I don't blame you. Like I said, I don't blame you. Mm -hmm. All this cooking, I'm going to rinse all my stuff off. Because I have to. Because I have to put my stuff on from the beginning. That, uh, that I got the Rotel. I put a little can of Rotel. Uh, Rotel or not, uh, forget it. I told y'all that the last time, I think. And went to the grocery store, didn't get hard. Nothing. I got drinks, chips, uh, all kinds of stuff. In my free, you probably can't see it, but all kinds of stuff. But forgot the important stuff, which my, which my spaghetti, something that I love. You know? I love spaghetti, y'all. I love spaghetti and I love fish. Should have got me some uh, stuff that made me some sloth. Y'all see, I got my other little new outfit on, y'all. Can y'all see the material? So I ended up getting like 13 outfits all together. And then I got another order. <laughs> That's crazy. I got another order in, y'all. Just getting all my little outfits. I like these little outfits. They're comfortable, y'all. They're cute and they're comfortable. And then I'm trying to, you know, get down to a, 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 a good size so I can look cute in my little outfits and stuff. So. I don't know how that go, but I ordered me like 13 outfits, got some more. I ordered my daughter some. I'm talking about uh, Dean and who house I was over, I ordered her some. And uh, her, her order and my order, the other order should be coming soon. Yeah, I, I, so I got a, a black one like this, I got a yellow one like this, and I got a red one like this. And you know, the other outfits I got, I got all kinds of colors, blue, purple, red, all kinds of colors. They, they're inexpensive, so, you know, anybody can go and get some, order some, and they, they deliver them in like five to seven days, you know, so that's a good thing. That's what I like to, you know, they, they, they send them out, they ship them on time, you know what I'm saying? So, that's a good thing. You know, I Everybody doing good. I was hungry, y'all. I woke up hungry this morning only because I went to bed home. I went to bed home because I don't like to eat after six, right? So by me not eating after six, I'll be starving in the morning time. So I be trying to go on and do my uh, cooking and eat me some before six, y'all, because I don't eat nothing else after six. I think I ate a bag of chips last night. I was so hungry. I couldn't, I just couldn't do it, man. I was so, I was starving. So I came here and got a bag of these little chips. I got a whole pack of these things. And so I ate one of these little bitty bags of chips. I got was starving like Marvin. And, uh, <clears throat> I don't know how they go. Be hungry. Eat. Oh my goodness, I be hungry at night time. But I refuse to get up and eat something, you know? I refuse, and then I lay right back down. I don't, I'm not going to do that. So when I eat, I stay up. Because what I was doing wrong, y'all, what caused me to gain all this weight that I had gained, I was eating and laying down, being lazy, wasn't getting up, moving around like I should. And mind you, the outcome was terrible. When I said terrible, it was terrible. So now that, you know, I know what, you know, it takes to not gain this weight, I know not to eat after six. I'm gonna take the fish out, y'all. Don't eat after six, and don't lay down while you eat. Like if you, like now I'm gonna eat, I ain't gonna lay down, you know. Gold and brown. Three pieces of my fish. I'm gonna put three more pieces in. I try not to put too many at a time in. Even though it looked like it's a big little skillet, but you know. I'm cooking like 
I get what? Six, seven pieces, y'all. I'm gonna cook seven pieces of fish. I bought a whole box of these. They be like 30 something, almost $40 for uh, that little box of Kroger. So I bought me a box of them. I still got some left in there. But I'm cooking like seven pieces out of it. One more to put in the meal. Wash my hands. And I'm almost done with ground my ground beef. This strainer and strain this grease off of this ground beef. It's not that much grease. I'm gonna uh, strain this grease off. That green is really, really nice, y'all. That is a nice color. Her husband, brother painted her house. Yeah, he, he do a good job. He does a really good job. He painted her whole house. And all her rooms are so pretty. The colors in her room are so unique and pretty, you know. They are really nice. She got a nice home. She stays out there close to Arlington almost. So... Yeah, really, really, really nice. I love going over her house. She got them cats and stuff, though. But they love them cats. I don't really like cats. I mean, they don't, you know, I don't hate them. I wouldn't hurt them or nothing like that. I just don't, I wouldn't have them now, you know. I wouldn't personally have them now. So this is my, my ground beef, y'all. I'm going to do the, put the sauce and stuff in it now. But yeah, I wouldn't have cats. I don't like cats like that. I, I I I don't even really like big dogs. I like the small dogs, my yaya. You know, cause I can uh, I can manage those dogs. Them big dogs, man, I'm scared of them. I'm gonna tear this up, cause when I was open, it came up anyway. Yeah, I don't like them, uh, I don't like them big dogs, y'all. I do not like them. I'm, I think I'm more scared of them than anything. It ain't, it ain't that I don't like them, I'm scared of them. I'm afraid of these dogs. I told y'all my three biggest fears is dogs, drowning, because I can't swim, and I used to be air flying, but now I'm more comfortable because I flew for my job back in, uh, I started at Siemens in 2018 up into 2004, I mean 2008 up into 2014. So, you know, I had to fly out of town to some classes that we were taking. I was working at a medical, it's Siemens Medical, it was a medical company. So I had to take a lot of classes and stuff. So I was flying back and forth to North Carolina from Memphis. And we had to get off in Atlanta, then get back on, you know, and fly to North Carolina, but yeah. I had to do that. Sure. A lot. I had to do that a lot. When I tell you a lot, it was crazy. But I had to do it for my job, you know. But I overcame my fear, you know. I overcame my fear of flying. So that was good, you know. I put some tomato sauce in y'all because I don't have the one thing of that uh, 
Get a red goo. Is it red goo? Now, Hunt's paste sauce. I didn't have but one uh, can of it. So I'm using tomato uh, sauce. It's going to be just as good. Cause that's what my mom used to fix spaghetti with back in the day with tomato sauce and tomato paste. Now, you know, we do the uh, Hunt's tomato, uh, the paste sauce. Cause it's, um, it's the same thing. And let that simmer and cook. Uh -oh. I think they came out my ears. Take them on out. Wash my hands. So, which I believe I had a mouthful of gold back in the day, y'all. I have I had a mouthful of gold. The only reason why I ended up taking I got my gold when I was like 20. My sister had passed away. We both went to the dentist uh, and got gold in our mouth. She got the two on the side. I got the all the top of mine was gold. I ended up taking them out in 2000. So I started at Siemens in 2008. I think I started taking out a year later because I became, I went through a temp service to get on at the job. So once I got on permanent, that's when they started sending us to classes and stuff. So I feared that I went to one class and it was so many big important businessmen and stuff. And we had to do like, uh, I forget what you call it, but we had to get up in front of the class and speak. So I'm like, I'm the only person in here with a mouthful of gold. So I started and I got my goals taken out. I said, I'm not going to even, you know, because this is going to be my career. That's how I was looking at it. This was going to be my career. I wanted to be here. I love my job. You know, it was good money. And I seen myself retiring from this company. So I said, I'm going to get my goals taken out. I got my goals taken out in 2009. <clears throat> and I got braces last year. And when the COVID hit, I got my braces taken out. So now I'm in the process of going back through the same transition I went through to get my braces. But I think I'm just going to get the retainers. I said it, uh, the, uh, maybe the Invisalign, the retainers or something like that. They're going to do something to it where my mouth is going to be really, really pretty. Um, and hopefully I love it, you know. So if I don't get the retainer, they spoke on the uh, where they they filed my teeth down real small, and then they put the uh, what did what did they call it? Uh, I forgot what they called it, but they put new teeth on top of your teeth. You see what I'm saying? And but the ones I seen, I was looking through this book that was showing me pictures of a lot of different cosmetic uh, procedures and. They just look kind of big and fake to me. I didn't like those, you know. They were really pretty and white though, but it was like I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't really going for the, uh, for the, uh, you know, the fake teeth, cause they were so big. So I don't know if I want the Invisalign or the, uh, I forgot what you called them. I can't even call. I told you my memory day, y'all. But anyway, so that's what I'm looking at now. Uh, get my mouth fixed but yeah i had i had goals all at the top of my mouth and a lot of people that knew me they could tell you Mama, i had goals all across there yep i did y'all i know it's crazy but i did back in the day young and silly and just i was just out there you know what i'm saying i mean i wasn't out there as far as doing any crimes and bad things i was just out there hanging with my kids dad trying to you know represent him he had that money and I, I was using it to my advantage, you getting the things that I wanted, you know. That's why I say I, I'm not, all this money in the world right now don't impress me because I've been there and I've done that, you know what I'm saying? I had money. I used to walk around four, five thousand dollars in my pocket. That's nothing no more to me. You know, you can't do that no more. 
You can't do that no more. Not these days. Because guess what? It ain't safe. It wasn't safe then, though. You know? Back in the day, it was not safe then. But we did it, and, you know, Lord knows I'm done with all that fast living. And I've been through so much uh, in my life. Whereas, you know, we had our door kicked in on us. Um, I've been robbed before at gunpoint. I've been, I went through so much, y'all. And I'm so grateful to still be here to be able to tell my story. You know, a lot of people, you know, might think that, hey, life is a joke. I take it seriously. Because I done been through some things in my life. I done been through some things in my life and Lord knows, I don't never want to go through it again. You know, that's when we had the, the big, uh, uh, the more control cell phones. You understand? I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, we had it all back in the day. I can sit and tell y'all some stories, but it'll take all day and tomorrow to tell you the stories that I've been through. But just know that I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be able to say that. I raised my kids the right way. You know, I did the right thing for my kids and that's to get away from around all that, you know, the things I was around, you know. I'm glad to be here to be able to be with my kids because some people don't even make it through what I've been through, you know. So, always know. That's why I tell you, and people want to know why I always call God's name because he is good, he is wonderful. He's everything to me. You know what I'm saying? Because without him, I wouldn't be here today. I promise I wouldn't. So, yes, I have to praise him. That's why I say no human. I praise no human. Because the crazy part about it is the people that robbed me, that came in my home, I knew who they were. You know, I knew who, who came to my house on me. And right today, I still know, but I never, ever, you know, bring it up or... Never throw it in nobody's face, you know. But trust and believe, I know who did that to me. It's done and over with. It was back in 96. So, you know, I'm good with whatever the outcome. You know, they got to deal with that, you know. They conscience, let their conscience be their guide. You know what I'm saying, how they did me and my kids. You understand what I'm saying? So, hey. I live and I learn, you know, the people that I helped uh, was the one that, you know, hurt me the most, you know, was stealing uh, everything from us, you know. Everything I had, I tried to be nice. I let people come stay with me and my kids' dad, and it was like they were stealing everything. There was, it was a lot of stuff going on around me, and I was kind of green at the time. He had to show me and tell me, look, this is what's going on. Open your eyes and see, you know, what's really going on around us. You know, these people are not your friends. But now I'm so smart about everything. That's why I'm so, like I am, I, I don't trust people like I used to. Because I think I gave people too much trust back in the day. I trusted people too much. And they let me down every time, you know. So with that being said, I don't, I don't do it anymore. I don't do it anymore. I'm just who I am. I'm living my best life, and I'll tell anybody I'm living my best life because I'm living the righteous life. I'm working, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm not out there doing anything that I don't supposed to do. I wasn't doing that then, I was just with, you know, a man that was. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not even finna deal with a man that's doing wrong. I'm not even gonna deal with anything like that. Because guess what? With you, with you around, it come back and hunt you. It's gonna hurt you in the end, you know. So people can say what they wanna say, laugh at me, and you, you did, you did. I think that I'm, I'm blessed. I look good for what I've been through in my life, you know. So it is what it is. I'm gonna put this little piece in the freezer, y'all. It is what it is. So, I just keep it moving. I thank God every day for the life that he gave me and my kids. And spare my life as well. You know. 
glad to be here. So anyway, I'm gonna show y'all the finished product, y'all. Since y'all say y'all never see the finished product. So that's the spaghetti. Well, with the fatty tuna noodles, you see? And that's the fish. And this is pink. I'll see you in the next video, you guys.